Sydney have been a very good starting side in 2008. They've won 10 of their first quarters so far this year. We're underway. Jolly and Campbell, but it's off the ground. Hawthorne going ahead first. Rioli paddling it forward. Franklin into the game early. Roberts Thompson too low. Yeah. He's been legged and Franklin will have a shot on goal. Perfect start for the Hawks. Yeah, tackle just slipped down off the hips from Lewis Roberts Thompson. He's just checking out the scoreboard, but he slipped down and grabbed right here. the big forward. Lance Franklin around the ankles. Just have a look at the replay here. The tackle was started high enough, but he's probably a little bit stiff. Didn't go below, below the knees. I think the umpire's made a little bit of a blue there. So you don't want to make a blue at this stage of the game. Get the ball in Franklin's hands. If he gets confident, we know he can do anything. Only really one good game against the Swans. Oh. And that's a shank. <laughs> it's a shock. Lindsay would put the mods on him. Before the game, he was kicking goals like that like shelling peas. Yeah, but he was kicking them off one step. He took about four or five then. <laughs> Too much preparation. But, uh, and also a little bit disappointing, there was uh, an easy chess mark on the goal line for the Sydney Swans. Hawthorne would be disappointed. Could that be a little bit of nerves about how important this game is? Well, I think there's no doubt. I mean, the facts are that the Swans have dominated the Hawthorne Football Club of, le of late. Have a look at that. That's disappointing about a take a mark there. Six lovers that are turnover in the middle of the ground. Well, Hawthorne a chance to atone. Williams gets the short pass from Rioli. And make no mistake, Mark Williams won't miss this and they'll get the first goal of the game. Well, certainly will. And Sir Rioli, he just swooped on that. That was a magnificent bit of play there from Rioli. And then just had, did, didn't go back and have a shot on goal. Quickly assessed the situation. Right. Yeah. Look, turned, had a look and put the ball to Mark Williams. Good play. Turnovers are so seconds. important at this level of football. 21 for the season. Makes it two little ducks. And the Hawks get the opening goal. Good start for the Hawthorne forwards. They've had two shots on goal and uh, have dominated possession. Uh, just uh, very, very bad turnover at that part of the ground. I mean, it's risky going back in the corridor, but the, the main thing is the Hawks forwards have got their tails up. Williams has got a score on the board. 22 for the year. Centre clearance is important. This one for the Sydney Swans. Played four games against the Swans and he's only managed five goals, Williams, so he'd be happy to get that start as Paul Roos looks on and they really haven't looked like taking the ball forward as yet. But it's early days for the opening blood to Hawthorne. At the centre, Hodge with some strength, but he just caught him a little bit high in the tackle. Slipped over the shoulder. Chase Franklin. Good pressure again from Hawthorne, trying to force a turnover. Kirk ran forward, hard running from the skipper, and he's got it just outside 50. Looking forward to this matchup, Brett Kirk and Sam Mitchell, the two skippers. Oh. Into the pocket, strong mark from Jared Moore, not known for his overhead skills. Oh, that's an outstanding mark. He gave away a number of inches. He looked like he'd run under the ball for, for a stocky little powerful player. That's a great vertical leap. And Birchall's about six foot two, 189. In, Good day. Good and that's day. just a magnificent mark there. We just see Birchall just could have used his body a little bit more aggressively there. So more to even things up. It's hooking and it hooked too far, hits the post. A let, a let off for the Hawks. It certainly is. You can't afford to miss chances like that playing interstate. So Hawthorne to bring it in. They go short. They'll work it out eventually. Up to Mitchell. Got it from Guerra. Mitchell to the outer side. Franklin the target. Roberts Thompson in front of him. Crumming in the right spot. Kirk has a runner at McVeigh. Has an area. It's a brain fade from McVeigh. Franklin involved again. Hands off to Williams. So the forwards for Hawthorne. Up the ground and working hard. Osmond on the end of that pass. Morton wants it long into the pocket. He heads in that direction and finds him. And the Rising Star nominee will take a shot at goal. Well, this is great coaching from Alistair Clarkson. Just been watching Canelli. They keep swapping Osborne and Morton. And Morton walked him back to the goal square. And they're trying to make Canelli play as lead defender. You can go step to your right. Jared Morton is nominated in round 13. You'd think he'd pass it in board here. He should have a player. He hasn't kicked a goal in AFL football yet. Alistair, is this his first? 
No, it's no score whatsoever. The woodwork getting a pounding at both ends. Well, I said he had a player to his left, only player to the left was probably a retired bloke in the grandstand to his right, I meant. But, uh, yeah, a few errant shots on goal at the start of this game. Barry to take the kick, and away he goes for Sydney. His target, Richards. Wrapped him up. Didn't look. You heard the umpire's call. Clinton Young penalised for not looking at the footy and wrapping him up. Didn't work out why that wasn't paid advantage. He's running an open play there. <laughs> we could have that Ten conversation minutes. all day. Yeah, we can. Massive players in just one third of the ground through the centre of the MCG. Another big match up here, Luke Ablett on, right on it, stay Luke there. Hodge. That's a good point, uh, Alistair. Stay There's only two players inside either of the 50s. O'Loughlin, he's the man up forward. But Playfair's got it and should give it. He does now. Moore slipped it over to O'Keefe, dribbles it forward looking for O'Loughlin. And will the boundary beat Sydney? Yes, it does, with Brent Guerin making sure of it. Good mark from Playfair, but if he had a handball instinctively, far away, Sydney, he just held the ball up for a split second, then give the hands. Keep the arms up! The boundary throwing all important. Jolly down in front. First there, Ladson. Clearing kick. Sydney have numbers, though. Buchanan gets back first. Gives it to Kirk. Kirk, well, that is going to be very tight. In fact, that's out of bounds on the full. Well, here we've got Matna now playing full back. So there's no doubt Elsa Clarkson is looking at Matna and Canelli and making those plays play deep in Hawthorne's forward 50. They're just trying to do the rotation now as we speak. Canelli's having to run back with Morton. Franklin playing up the ground. So that's part of that role to get the running defenders of Sydney back. Here's Birchall. Can't quite take it. Roughhead comes in to lend a physical presence. So to Crawford. And he's got talent both on and off the field, Crawford. He can act, but that's not going to get him anywhere. And that's an interesting tactic having Canelli and Matt Nadeau. It means that Franklin does have to come up the ground. So Paul Roos may be happy with Franklin taking a lot of marks around the centre wing. High tackle. It'll come back to Ladson, who won the clearance anyway. So Ladson, the kick from 70 metres from goal. Hawthorne lead by five points. To see it. Not a lot in that. Shane's just grabbed the chin to try to milk one. <laughs> oh, Once again, good, plenty of players in the defensive half for the Swans. Ladson thinks he can find Franklin. No chance in that congestion. Playfair he comes playing, back to help out. Well, Playfair's playing in the half four line, so he's pushed down and really helped the Sydney Swans defence, Lynchy. Yeah. And no doubt Paul Roos was disappointed with the amount of marks taken inside their defensive 50 last week against Collingwood. But this is the modern game. You don't have spectators where we used to play at the extremities of the ground. Now you just don't base yourself there. You've got to move right up and right back, and you, there's no spectating. When you play full forward, you didn't go that far on your holidays. <laughs> well, actually, I think the Brisbane Lions first. They made me push up to the centre circle. I was devastated. Hoods' kick. Too much power on it. That's what weekend off does, does for you. Let's kick it out on the full. Both teams, Murphy's Swans switches. and Hawthorne, are very good at this. They switch the ball wide across the back half and look to run out. Gillum got it from Osborne in turn to Ellis. Ellis measures the kick. Roberts Thompson decides to punch from the front. Franklin decides front to pick strength. it up. He's trying to get past a couple. Did he take too long? Yes. Yeah, just a little long. And a perfect tackle. He had a hold of the arm. He couldn't handball it. And they were pulling him around. So there's a very good tackle there. Was that the chicken wing tackle in the rugby league? It certainly is. Oh, there was a chicken wing there. Uh, big chicken wing. More a turkey wing. Into the turnbuckle. Canelli, he's got the ball in his hand. Now they have to use Canelli on the way out. They've got to, when he gets in the space, they've got to give him the ball so he can put pressure on his direct opponent that's trying to drag him back to the goal square. Jack's kick, almost to the advantage of Buchanan. Now he gets it. He was looking over the top for O'Keefe, going back Brown. It's going to be a fantastic matchup. Also, Ryan O'Keefe and Brent Guerra. Has, was has, better have his running shoes. I was going to say, has Guerra got the motor to run with O'Keefe? We know he's he's uh, plays predominantly in the forward half, but he just runs so hard all day. I'll, I'll let you know at three quarter time. <laughs> Sewell got in close and just slipped it to Ladson. He in turn switches wider out in front of Osman. Bevan pressuring him. Osman. In the end, I think he was pretty happy to get it over the line. There's Guerra who's. Bend over already. That's well, Will Guerra just let him go if he gets further up the ground and wait for him to come well, back? There might have been a, even a change at the moment. Yeah. 
the whistle. It's high it's contact. Oh, 50 metre penalty. So, great to see Simon Taylor back. He's been out for four weeks with a nasty gash to the knee. Underrated player, Taylor. Not sure what that uh, the, the 50, 50 was from. There's the uh, free kick. Everett had uh, the arm over the right shoulder. There it is, McVeigh. Oh, McVeigh across the mark. Oh, another, another 50. 50. It's a soda for Taylor, and the Swans in disarray. Well, that's extremely disappointed, and well, who is that on the other Kieran, side? Kieran Jack. Yeah. All clear. That hurts. A lot of contest around the half forward line. The first 50, you could, McVeigh was really conscious of Sewell. But the umpire was telling Kieran Jack to get out of the play. We're just seeing the left of screen. See with his hands. The umpire is saying, no, you're too close. I'm well, he's not well, too close. Is he? That's ridiculous. I mean, if that is the decision, surely that couldn't be the decision. He was standing, you know, at least four or five metres off the mark. Uh, but uh, two 50-metre penalties on the back of a free kick. Crowd wanting another 50, he's not going to get it. And the Swans drop the zone now and go to the one-on-one -on -one matchup, so they have to adjust quickly. They get numbers back here, Everett in front of Taylor. And the big man does well on hands and knees. Ablett, a little bit untidy, wider to Bird, measures the pass inside looking for play fair. Hawthorne should clean up, Murphy. Back to Gillum, in turn, Crow wider. Rioli in some space. You'll have to corral him here, Brett Kirk. You run around if you go too hard at him. That's a good grab. Good hands. Oh, good hands. hands. And again, found the target. There's been some impressive marking overhead already in this game. Williams just a little bit low for Mitchell, sliding in, couldn't take it. Hard attack in the footy, it spills out the back. Everett. Matner, chain of handballs. Kirk involved. Again, more handball. Bevan from Ablett. They continue to run now. Oh, Mickey O, oh, too slow. They're all running in the same direction. He decided to change the other way. The tackling's been outstanding from both teams. They've both come to play here today. We're going to see some tricky contests, and more importantly, some great defensive pressure. Still a lot of Lachlan assessing the situation, and Young tackles the hips. Perfect tackle. Hawthorne load up now through Birchall, but again, Everett standing in the way. Double kick. You've got Everett loose behind the play. You need to widen your vision there. When you see big Peter Everett, you need movement and kick the ball away from the high ball from Everett. Well, the Hawthorne midfield are very used to being able to go confident to go long to Franklin and Roughhead, but Everett's going to camp himself there all day long, I think. LRT, Lewis Roberts-Thompson to McVeigh. He wants to switch back to Kirk. He's told the play on. And he chips up in the middle to Jack. Well, that was good. They were able to get in through the corridor. It just gives them a chance to use both sides of the forward 50 if they can take possession here. Sloppy footy again, Sydney. Good play, Murphy. And Hawthorne should make them pay here. Tuck. Rioli's in space if they can find him. Franklin listens to you, Alistair, finds him, decides to play on. Sir oh. Rioli to 30 metres with pace. Misses. Oh, skill level's just been a fraction off. It is uh, the pressure of third versus fourth, knowing that that top four spot is really up for grabs to cement yourself up there. Jared McVeigh's hamstrings would be about an inch longer now after chasing Sir Rioli. Well, there was no elastic band between the two of them because it snapped. Rioli just took off, put yards on McVeigh. Posters at both ends, finals-like atmosphere at the MCG. Bolton takes the kick in and chips it in back to Barry. When the opposition kick a point against Hawthorne, it gives Hawthorne the best chance to set up their zone. Inside 50s, 10 to 6 at the moment. And as we saw at the other end, Sydney were happy to drop the zone where Hawthorne maintain it. Buchanan and this wants is where it can be dangerous if you haven't gone man on man by now. Jolly push forward. Got Jolly. Well, that was great running from Jolly. I just watched out the corner of my eye, Jolly, and you need oh. to give yourself an option there. Big Darren Jolly is just shaking off the option forward. And was it uh, Ryan O'Keefe that might have been was calling for the ball? But that was good work. As we know, Hawthorne have a very big zone. They incorporate the whole side into their zone, and they prepared to just uh, run back with the ball. 
But if you can work hard to get on the outside of their zone, players like Jolly can pop up into space. They've missed two set shots, this one from further out, and they've missed three in a row. And our time down on the ground before the game, Spud, it, it wasn't windy, was it? I mean, it's uh, pretty good conditions. Uh, the problem could be, outside the, the pressure of a big game, it's a little bit slippery on the surface, and when you're just setting yourself for that last step before you take your kick, it, uh, you may be slipping. I think you're being very generous there. Yeah, a bit generous, but certainly on wing, you can slip when you're trying to kick, but uh, oh, certainly kickable goals. Boundary throw in, 45 metres around from Sydney's goal. They trail by 10 points. Hawks in control on the board. Seven minutes remaining. Oh, well, Sydney in control from the clearance. Adam Goods tries for something miraculous yeah. oh. and kicks it. The Brownlow medalist with a bit of class. Well, one, the, the handball from Mickey O'Loughlin somehow fouled out of goods. Then he's tried something that you only practice Tuesday nights to train. Just have a look at the, the ruck work here. It was uh, Hawthorne ruck got out. Mickey O'Loughlin, quick hands under enormous pressure, has found Adam Goods, and that's a very good goal. The goal umpire spent, spent plenty of time talking to the boundary umpire to see whether it was a goal, but that is a team lifter. Outstanding goal by Adam Goods. Also the work off the ball. Brad Sewell was on Goods and his teammates blocked Sewell's run. That is a great team goal there from Sydney. Just what they needed given the fact they'd missed three set shots and they're trying to move it forward here again. Jolly a searching handball towards Bolton. He slipped it to Kirk. Back to Ablett. He just throws it on the boot. And Lachlan in the back. Pushed in the back. Oh, free kick. Mickey O'Loughlin. The ball a little bit lacks the umpires with the hands in the back. There's no doubt that one was there. The initial contact, I thought, was a good bit of play, but I just saw Trent Crowe's hands in the small of O'Loughlin's back. Let's just have a look at the free kick here. Thanks, that's it. Yeah, Crowe had a, had a piece of the jumper and a hand in. It was actually on the way down. Wasn't it the initial marking contest? So O'Loughlin, amazingly, to put Sydney in front. In the blink of an eye, the Swans to take the lead. He kicks it. The scores are about right, Lynchy. Inside 50s, eight to Sydney, six to Hawthorne. Hawthorne have had that 250 metres free kicks. 10-8, so. 10 10-8 Hawthorne, that's the rebounds. OK, sorry, yeah. I'm wrong there. So um, that, to me, I reckon the score's about right. It, it, disposals are in favour of the Swans. 63 to 48 and uh, very good form for the Swans just over the last couple of minutes. Thanks guys, Robbie, Robbie, beating. Hawthorne lead wiped out very quickly, goals to their superstars in Goods and O'Loughlin. Well, a little bit away there, see so Alistair Clark's in the coaching box there, their key players getting on the scoreboard. Back in the middle, Mitchell wins it. Slipped it over to Campbell, throws it on the boot. Roberts Thompson beaten to it by Ladson. Good work. Mitchell's handball a little bit messy, missed roughhead. Jolly came in. Ladson just got a hand on it and it enabled Hawthorne to keep possession. Campbell searching out, looking for Franklin with a palm off. Just got rid of Bird. Kicks it into the pocket. Williams his target. Couldn't quite make it. Ladson. Clever Good handball. recovery from Williams. Great recovery from Williams. Around the corner. Can he get the goal? No, he can't. But Ladson was involved two or three times. No possessions, but hard work. New role for Ladson. We moved into the midfield. Have six disposals already. Oh, we've got an injury for the Sydney Swans. Is it McVeigh or Canelli? Uh, left shoulder in enormous strike to the bench. Ty Canelli. And that is a massive concern. He was involved in that marking contest. And uh, must have just got the arm pulled back. So right. watch that one closely. And that is big news for Sydney. He's, they've had a look, and he's, he's starting to run. He's oh, risen. He's, he's that, risen. He's fine. the stinger? <laughs> it must have been the stinger. Just see the tackle there. Gee. Isn't that Pope at Ramwick next week? He's fine. He's fine. He's back. Have they got some holy water, those <laughs> Sydney trainers? He's had the magic spray, and he's fine. No, he's coming off now. He's coming off now, so he'll get that looked at. Back with the action, though, and Buchanan gets a beautiful pass from Ted Richards. He's a worry at the moment, Buchanan. He's forcing Guerra, who started on O'Keefe, to play as a defender there and isolated him. So that's a little bit of a win for Paul Rose at the moment. We just see 
the Canelli shoulder again. He's pulled it back in. It's popped out, yeah. and that's the see the physics. Oh, see it just drops, just dropped back into place, and he's away. So there was a fair bit of pain there. The oh, tough, so the the tough Irishman. Buchanan, though, he needs to redeem himself. His set shot last time wasn't good. And neither's that one, so that's two behinds from Buchanan. Well, I know how painful it is just to have a finger put back into into joint. Uh, I don't know about that one. That'd be pretty nasty. You're absolutely right, boys. He's actually just told the dock it popped out and it's popped back in. So uh, spot on on the Canelli court. We'll have a look at that at half time, how that just did pop back into, into place. You saw there Brett Kirk, the five disposals in the last five minutes. Nine for the game, Brett Kirk. Beautiful pass by Gillum to Murphy. Now, Bevan went without it. Interesting choice by Osmond to just go off the ground towards Rafael Franklin to That's clean up. Oh, look at Buddy. He is as good as it gets. That's a magnificent goal. It's a terrific play. From Osborne, I think, who just kicked the ball forward because he sensed there was space. And when there's space to run into with a guy like Franklin, Ruffhead contested the ball. Just see Franklin running in there. Ruffhead front and square. Have a look at the pickup for a guy six foot five and then turning on one leg. You're right, Matthew. It does not get much better than that. McKee forward. You expect to take the contested marks. He's an extremely hard matchup. Goal number 67 for Buddy Franklin. Arguably, there's never been a man in the game that can play at ground level at that height. Well, the first few years he was in the competition, it was, it was basically a half full flank at crumbing forward. He didn't have the ability to mark overhead, but certainly he's added that to his game. But that's uh, almost bread and butter for Lance Franklin. Hawks back in front, four minutes remaining in what has been a very entertaining, at times messy first quarter. There's Ty Canelli there. Hopefully he comes back on the ground. Big punch away from the contest. Ablett first to it. So right on him. Big bear hug and he wraps him up and have a ball up. Luke Hodge barking instructions. It was good play from Sewell. Sewell's playing on goods, but come off goods to tackle Ablett. That's why Hodge patted him on the back. Taylor again winning it, but not to the advantage. Now Ruffhead standing in the way of that Ablett kick. He just belts it into the pocket. Franklin out positioned. Morton was there. Loose ball. Rioli got to beat two or three. Carr. Smith on the ground now, the late inclusion for Sydney. And we'll have a ball up right in the corner. Great forward pressure there from Cyril Rioli. Now he got the ground level ball. Sydney then grabbed the ball and then he just swooped on the tackle. He That's a win for Hawthorne. Yeah, he was outnumbered three to one. So to get a stoppage there, get a second chance to get a shot on goal. Very important for the Hawks forwards. Everett laying it down, looking for Bolton. Rough head off the ground, the key forwards doing it at ground level for Hawthorne. It's a bit of a pinball here. It spins around. It ends up back with Barry. Didn't really want it. Hawthorne, good pressure in their 450. Ellis bumped out of it. No free kick from Jack. O'Loughlin. Cool under pressure. Bolton driving it long. Playfair almost took the grab. Might stay in for him, though. O'Loughlin wants it. He gets it. O'Keefe or Buchanan. Buchanan's got it. Oh, He's in trouble. Such a competitor, Campbell Brown, and Buchanan just didn't have that awareness that he was hot. It was like a dog after a bone there, Campbell Brown. Oh, look, you talk about goals of the year and things like that. See that on replay four or five times. That is brilliant stuff from Brown. And it could end up with a goal at the other end if Everett doesn't oh, pick it up. Oh, can't get a handle on it. It's a long way down for the big fella. And Osborne trying to make him pay, hooks it too far. We well, got away with that one. Big spy. Jared Roughhead just uh, suggested you getting a little bit stiff in the back on the way past. Give him a bit of a work over. That's great chase and tackle from Campbell Brown. Just a little bit of a uh, bit of work over the top when he went to get the ball as well. No, oh, he's fantastic, isn't he? Uh, great competitor. You'd love him in any side. His opposite number with the footy now. Right on it. Roberts Thompson. I think Peter Everett was just showing his age there at ground level. Oh, Long yeah. way to bend down for the big fella. He's a big man. Big tail or mark this. Oh. Now, the whistle on the play, the hands in the back, and the free kick against O'Keefe will go to Birchall. Yeah, he's just, he was uh, caught behind, just trying to push Birchall under the ball. He was trying to use his forearms, 
but uh, we'll just see here yep. his hand oh, on the yeah. back, and that is uh, free kick. He's been consistent kick. today, the umpires. Oh, right? They're right onto it too. They have to be consistent over the course of the game. That's a man in front. Well, it's pretty ordinary from Big Taylor. He would have loved about a stoppage there, Hawthorne. Still in a dangerous area. He didn't do the team thing, and now Sydney have got the ball. Good courage too from Bolton to just back back into Taylor, knowing contact was coming. Hawks by five points. Big leap from Guerra. Underneath all of that is Gillum. And he gets up and we'll have a ball up. Centre wing. Clearances. Hawthorne seven, Sydney five. So it's a win for Hawthorne. And they're going to win this one. Taylor gets it from Hodge. She gave it to Tuck, but he probably didn't really want it. He might oh, get a free kick. Contact. Too high. Yeah, put his head over the ball. Hodge just caught one high from Ablett. He did it well, Hodge. Been quiet for uh, such a damaging player, just his third disposal. Rough hit his target. Yeah, holding the arm, was it? Oh, I might have missed. I might have seen something different. I thought I saw Leo Barry had hold of Jared Ruff's head, his left arm. Just see the high contact on Hodge. Not a smart play. Deserve a free kick. Just see here. He, he uh, said he held it. Held the left arm of Jared yeah. Roughhead in the contest. How would you go, Spud? These days. Ooh, very <laughs> frustrated. Okay. So we've seen Franklin get on the board. Roughhead, not yet. I think he's still allowed to grapple, but was there a hold? Not quite sure. It, looked, it appeared that Jared Roughhead was holding his ground very well. Oh, there's the free kick. There. Yeah, that, oh, there's was, the that was the free kick. So yeah. he was dominating well, the position kick. of his opponent. And in the end, Leo Barry had no option other than try to pull the arm to gain some ascendancy. Thanks, fellas. Watch the arm. Whoops. In trouble here. Oh, not, <laughs> 15, not 15. Not 15. Barry. And he's got no right leg, Leo Barry. And Brett Kirk will win the free kick. Well, he's very lucky there because Leo is a dead set left footer. He uses his right leg for balance only. <laughs> it's just a walk on. Well, the expectations were very high coming to this ground. And, well, it's one goal the difference, and it's a really good game of footy. Uh, it's a great game. It's what we expected. It's what we hoped for. The Sydney Swans, prior to last week's game, have been in enormous form, winning six straight. Hawthorne, we know how good they are. Great contest is living up to expectations so far. The ATP Masters Race, live on Fox Sports. The battle for tennis' number one ranking is heating up. Oh, yes! Spain's young bull edges closer to derailing the Fed Express. The amazing race takes you to the hard courts of North America for the Rogers Cup Toronto. The world's players collide as the fight for valuable ATP points intensifies. Tennis on the highest order. The ATP Masters Series begins 1 a.m. Tuesday, live and exclusive, Fox Sports 2. At Harvey Norman's Games Hotspot. One world, one dream, one game. Personal best. Bring home the competitive spirit of the games. With the new Beijing 2008 Olympics video game. World and record. Cheer on the green and gold with your own Aussie team or play as one of 38 other nations. Don't have an Xbox or PS3? Harvey Norman's got everything you need for the ultimate high-def Olympic action. Beijing 2008 Olympics game for 360 and PS3. Now at Harvey Norman. At Bunnings Warehouse, we won't be beaten on price. Take a look at these. P-handle trolley, only $25.87. Galvanised shelving, $47.97. Ryobi cordless screwdriver kit, $59. Security sensor light, $25.98. Foam weather seal tape, just $2.94. If you happen to find a cheaper price on a stocked item, we'll beat it by 10%. Bunnings Warehouse. Lowest prices are just the beginning. The availability of a true one-ton payload and a towing capacity of up to 2.3 tonnes. It's the workhorse you'll never want to get out of. The unbelievable all-new Falcon Ute. Underway in the second term. 
Jolly winning the clearance, belting it high, looking for Keith come across, didn't take the grab. Brown, gee, they did it well. Birchall got it to Crowe and turned Guerra. Oh, nice grab there by Gillum. They should better run this out to the wing into space. It was good work from Ablett. Ablett got back to pressure Young, but unfortunately went to ground and Young is away. Now, yeah. he could have gone to Osborne. In fact, it was probably the better option, but he's gone into the pocket. So low percentage because Osborne was trying to run off him to let his player go with him, wait for the one over the top. Spot on spud with the move of Lance Franklin. Ty Canelli with that dislocated left shoulder. It'll be, uh, it'll be certainly a stinger, I reckon, Spud, as we call it in the first quarter, but uh, he's back on the ground. Would you do a chicken wing with him nice and early? Oh, you'd grab, Test it, it, out. You'd grab it first up, I would have thought. But uh, Lance Franklin, if he has six positions a quarter, but they're inside 50, that's going to be very dangerous for the Sydney Swans. And uh, I think uh, Lewis Roberts-Thompson, in the position Lance is in now, will be, uh, he'd be pretty nervous. Not 15. It's never 15 in the back half. Uh, the other end of the ground, as you, as you said, Matty. Yeah, it would have been, been 20. Yeah, got Jolly way. on wide here. And they've got, uh, I think it's Moore along. Now, Jared McVeigh's got to run at the ball carrier so, so, so Moore oh, can stay in fumble. position. In trouble, Sydney. Craig Bolton. Kirk comes to help out. Mitchell, tough underneath, and uh, they're pretty lucky there, this one. Well, it was a silly call from Bolton. It's OK to call for the handball, but you can see he's running into a brick wall. Three Hawthorne players were in front of him. He was better off protecting Jolly and let Jolly kick the ball to more. And that's what players are instructed. Reward the runner. Now, Must you've, give it. you've only got to... If you call for it, you've got to be in a good position. That's the onus on the player calling, isn't it? Yep. Kirk, a little gift to Ablett, who is working hard himself. Around the corner, Ladson. Well, that's a good grab under, under pressure from Leo Barry from Jared Roughhead. Franklin's one on one here. He wants to go Franklin short. And square. He's just going to bob it up and hope that Buddy can mark it. Richards. But now Richards comes in to be two on one. Ball at ground level. Where is he? Doesn't need it. Osman wobbles it through for a point. That's the beauty of Franklin. Very rarely does he get out marked. Lynch, it's interesting Craig Bolton is on Williams. I know Williams is a terrific matchup. He just seems the better matchup on Lance Franklin. Well, I'm, I'm very surprised, actually, with the matchup. I mean, Robert Thompson's been okay in the first part of this game, but it'll be something we may see the rotation later in the game. Well, at the moment, he's only got one goal. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's doing good. very well. He's I'm, doing well so far. He might get two if it comes back pretty quickly. Well, one on one here. Here he is. The ball lands short, though. Oh, he just gets rid of him. He doesn't exist. Now he's got two. Now it's time. It may be time, and it's because it's that dangerous full-back position as well where you just get hurt with every possession. And uh, this is, goes long to a one-on-one -on -one situation. The kick wasn't great, but here, look at the turning ability of a six-foot-five athlete and uh, just got to attack the hips. Yeah, uh, great play. Not bad play by Lewis Roberts Thompson, but he's got to attack the hips and make a tackle there. Great goal, Lance Franklin. Well, it was good play because he assumed Franklin was going to turn onto his left. He turned onto his right, threw him out. Outstanding performance once again from Lance Franklin. Going right instead of left, fooling Roberts Thompson. There's no doubt Paul Roos will be looking at the matchup with Craig Bolton and Lewis Roberts Thompson. Biggest margin of the game now for Hawthorne, 14 points. And they're away from the clearance. Hodge getting involved onto the chest of Saul, of Williams. And there he is again. Well, the runner's on the way out. And he's just... Going past Lewis Roberts Thompson yeah, now and Craig the Bolton. They've made the change actually. The runners just made the change. Okay. And uh, 10 seconds too late. Yeah, just a little too late, but Paul Ruse had uh, made the call from the bench. Williams got him involved then. That's a beautiful pass. Now Lewis Roberts Thompson couldn't do anything about that. It's just the midfield's got to get back and, and block up the space. Franklin for his third, importantly though, for the Hawks. Give themselves a 20-point buffer and it stays left. So they've, they've made the change now. Craig Bolton will get that match-up. Lee Colbert's got some news on the boundary line for us. You're right, boys. The runner did come out to Bolton, told him to change over. You should have seen the poor look on his face. He's just taking a big, deep breath and going, oh, no. <laughs> got Buddy. So Sydney on the kick-in. Canelli with hands to Roberts Thompson. Thought about McVeigh over the top. Kicks to space. Guerra was in good position, got an unkind bounce. But again, he'd be happy because his opponent 
O'Keefe can't get into the game. McGuire's had four disposals, all lace out. Unfortunately for Sydney, Ryan O'Keefe's only had the two. That's three, jump on it. That hole. 15 point game. Boundary throw in. Jolly was looking for Ablett. Kirk wins it, just belts it forward. Richards off the ground. Gillum goes back. Mitchell gets support. The run of Crawford. Out wider. Gives Rioli a chance. Perfect pass from the Brownlow medalist. Rioli wants Williams. Almost. Yes, he's got it. Free kick against Matna. The beauty of Rioli, we well, think of him as a front and square player, but he's very good overhead. So he opens up a void behind him. They've got great connection at the moment, the Hawthorne forwards, especially Rioli and Williams. Well, two years ago, he was the, the key leading forward for the uh, Hawthorne team before Franklin and Roughhead really burst onto the scene. And Just already Bolton was on Williams. Now they've got a nightmare here. Well, this yeah, that's right. Matna's a reasonable size, but not a uh, strong body player. Perfect kick from Williams. He's got two. He doesn't miss too many opportunities, Williams. He's a beautiful kick on goal. And uh, a fit Williams in this forward lineup uh, just really compliments Roughhead and uh, certainly Lance Franklin. There's Matna, Marty Matna. Had a good season, but just see there. That's a good vertical jump. He was caught under the ball pretty well. He's jumped up and just the right arm going over the shoulder. Gave the free kick away. And uh, something the Sydney Swans don't want to concede too many of those. Seven inside 50s to two Hawthorne's way this quarter. And for the game, it's 22 Hawthorne, 11 to Sydney. Two yeah. goals, three. Sydney haven't scored may in this been, quarter. May have been just a matchup issue. Lewis Roberts Thompson's got the Williams matchup now. She had him good. Missed. Where Sydney's strength is is the clearances, and also that's a win for Hawthorne also. It's 10 to Hawthorne, 8 to Sydney. So all the key indicators going Hawthorne's Look at this. way. Ooh. Gee, that was lucky. He was very lucky. I think both players were lucky. Given what's happened with good so far this season, he got the, a chat from the umpire. And now Jolly wins the free kick. Jolly's been outstanding. He gave it off to Goods. Playfair is target, and they really need to go here, Sydney. Playfair has to go back and kick this. He's averaging one a game. Well, 21 points the difference, and uh, Sydney were very good in that first term. Just the Hawks in the second term have really kicked away and dominated possession. Play fair. He's been a reasonable target up forward, but he's got to make the most of this opportunity. Shot on goal. Running on. Eight games, eight goals. Seven behind. And wouldn't you know it? He's now triple eight. <laughs> he's he's you a wrestler, just isn't he? wanted that, didn't you? He's a wrestler or something, isn't he? A race car team, V8 supercar uh, team. You've lost me there. But they needed that, and they've got to get one on the board. Hawthorne got their tail up a bit here. They're 20 points up as Birchall swings it to Murphy. Now, Murphy just says, I'll just kick it to you, Lance, because one on one, I reckon you'll win. But not to be that time. It's slippery there. Well, it was good work, actually. Lance Franklin just shoved Craig Bolton fairly. Just pushed him in the chest, pushed him out of the road. Just the kick was a little bit off. Otherwise, it would have been a nice mark after some very good work. From the throw in, Mitchell. Wobbles it forward. Bolton with a bit of a don't argue. Back to Goods. That's a very clever handball to Bolton. Can they get something happening here? No. Maybe. Bird. Out in front, into the pocket. Buchanan came out. Hawthorne defence under pressure here, but Crawford summing it up nicely, just went off the ground. He's going to get it back to. Great work from Shane Crawford. Looping handball. Now Morton's got time and space. He chips it back in the middle, and good decision. Murphy looked up, could have gone to Taylor, goes longer. Williams, Franklin, standing in the way, Everett. Pushed him out of the way. Did he have possession? No. He's going to get a shot at goal. I'm not sure whether Peter Everett put his whole body on the line there. Well, you've got Franklin and his direct opponent coming in. Everett should have somehow, to see here, maybe trying to look for the free kick. Yeah. Big Peter. Would have been better just containing Franklin's run. 2-2 for Lance Franklin. 
seem to have a few match-up problems. Canelli's got Williams now. Just uh, Paul Roos just playing with a few options in the back half. That is oh. a shocker. What would you call that one, wouldn't you? <laughs> a pie floater? Off the tee. Oh, not just go out of the bounds. Reload. Just go to the bag and get yeah. another ball. <laughs> just, there's your mulligan. Where you are? Yes. Two goals, two, and two haven't scored. No closer. In the pre-game show, we talked about goal kicking. He was magnificent in the warm-up yeah. off two steps from outside 50. Yeah. Free kick Hawthorne. Here it is again. And there's the reaction from the star forward. And he can't believe it. It's Sydney with the ball. Yeah, they've just got to generate some run off half back here. They're really struggling. Middle corner been very good shutting the run down from the Sydney Swans. They just can't find targets at the moment. That's great, Mark. Need a couple of big names to uh, stand up over the next five or ten minutes. No bigger than Adam Goods as he hits a high ball, standing and waiting. Great spoils. Three on Brown. one. O'Loughlin's by himself. They can get it. No. no too good Hawthorne defence. Crow running for him young. Away they go. The old one, two. Forward again, Franklin. Bolton this time brings it to ground, but it's not out of trouble yet. Bolton is besieged by Hawthorne players. Oh, oh. oh you thought he was going to give it a Please don't yeah. uncall that because he did really well there, Bolton. That was fantastic effort. And that's the difference, Lynchy. He had the ability to get down at the loose ball. Lewis Roberts Thompson early would have been all at sea once that ball hit the ground. 25 metres out from Hawthorne goal, but here he is again from the clearance. Kirk giving it up, though. Young can kick a goal, takes it, goes to outside 50, loops it towards the goals and kicks a beauty. That hurts. We see it week in, week out. Turnovers kill teams. Great work from uh, Brett Kirk to get the ball out of that clearance. See the Craig Bolton effort here. He's gone to ground. He may have picked up a free kick, but Hawthorne players in the block it up. Kirk's gone for the clearance towards Richards, and that's chopped off. And just to see the ball sail over your head is uh, mentally very sapping for the Sydney Swans when they've been pummeled in this quarter. Clinton Young with a wonderful finish. His ninth goal for the season. The margin is a worrying 26 points. they have been super clean, Hawthorne. Can't say the same for Sydney. A few fumbles, a few missed handballs, but Hawthorne have been outstanding with their ball use. We saw that clang account at quarter time for both teams. Not good, but the Swans have gone on with it, unfortunately. And Hawthorne doing everything right. Can they get another one? Bolton again besieged. Osborne out the back looking for Williams. Kennelly with him. Play on the call. Bird with hands. Canelli got it from Ablett. Short pass. And Hawthorne really worrying Sydney here. It was a good run from Peter Everett out of the uh, defensive 50. The push up onto the wing to provide a target. Everett. Crow did well. Came across. Knew what he was always going to do. And that was punch it out of bounds. That's what you need from your big power defenders. Just have a contest. That's what he's there for. He's got up pretty sore as well. Just made a contest. Took out a bit of friendly fire there, but you've just got to kill the contest and uh, make sure the ball goes over the line. Good attack on the footy. Everett gets front spot, but Taylor wins the knot. Ablett, he's not going anywhere. Thanks, Luke. It's amazing to think that Sydney have had 12 ball disposals in Hawthorne. Lance Franklin at the top of the disposal ladder for Hawthorne with 10. Ellis wanted the boundary. Tuck was there and they get it. If Lance Franklin ends up being on top at the end of the day, Hawthorne will win. It's well, doubt about that. Yeah, especially he's playing deep in this quarter, so he'll kick plenty or have plenty of shots on goal. Ball up inside the Sydney forward 50. There is the man in question. Such a very good athlete, such a dangerous player. Come on, fellas. And there's plenty going on the centre wing at the moment. Crawford's involved. Might be Kieran Jack. Paul Bevan. Paul Bevan it is. Yeah. He doesn't mind a bit of a scrap. Still going on. Hawthorne and Sydney, I can't penalise one when they both do it. Thanks, Brett. Just trying to stand out in the wing, mind your own business, and you've got someone bumping into you every <laughs> couple of seconds. Fellas, gonna let me bounce here. I pay a free kick for interfering with the bounce. Shall we reload? Play on. 
Taylor again winning the knot. Goods hunting it, but Ellis first to it. Murphy in there also. And Ellis went back again Thank and will go care. again. Thank Got a whistle coming up shortly. Lame up, lame up. Thanks. See Adam Goods. Got a bit of high contact here. Nothing deliberate, but uh, yeah, the left ear will be ringing a little. McVeigh got it out of the clearance. He's legged. And he's going to get a free kick underneath all that is Kieran Jack. Well, the game's been played on Sydney's terms the last 90 seconds. Stoppies after stoppies, just gaining some yardage. Well, it was important that they slowed the momentum up of Get Hawthorne and not in principle kick goals quickly themselves, but actually stop the momentum of Hawthorne and then start to rebuild into the game. Just trying to get momentum flowing their way slowly. Rising star nominee in round four. Sydney desperately need this. They trial by 26. He can't bring it back to 20. He's missed. And they continue to let themselves down. Three missed opportunities. Buchanan in the first quarter missed two sodas. Jared Moore missed an easy one. That hurts. Now, can Hawthorne make them pay at the other end? Well, they've just got to keep the ball in their defensive 50, the Sydney Swans. They need a very mobile zone here and work hard to get another chance to have a shot on goal. Still not it yet, the Hawks. Young in trouble. Jack the tackler. Young, he got a boot ball. That was so clever. You thought he was going to be gone, but he managed to just get the boot onto it. Oh, he's and he go, breaks Adler. free. Clinton Young, unfortunately for him, Canelli's standing the way. He doesn't take the mark. Sydney under extreme pressure. Williams free, running, bouncing. And is he kick number three? Yes, he has. Outstanding pressure. Not sure it was the right choice. I think it was Jolly that pushed the fourth ball forward for Sydney. It actually went Hawthorne's way when you've got... We'll just have a look at the replay here. Jolly gets the ball. Again, it was just a fumble. Maybe he should have just held the ball in and caused the ball up. But he hit the ball forward, which actually went Hawthorne's way. When you've got a players like Rioli and Williams running into space, it's all over. Great running. See Rioli there next to him, Williams. This is dangerous. Numbers for Hawthorne. Saul. Rough at his target. Shipping in. 50 there. Yeah. Shipping in the way right Bevan, I should have said. Not a good pass, but Sam Mitchell was fantastic. He used his body to push Adam Goods out of the way to allow a Hawthorne mark. But yeah, got back into the spot, and that's what you want. Your halfback flankers and midfielders to push back into defensive 50 to crowd it up. Bevan's kick. Drives oh, it turn low, turnover turn again, Canelli fumble, pressure again from Hawthorne is superb, Ellis over the top of him, they want a free kick, they don't get it. He's saying Ellis dragged it in underneath, that's great work. Yeah, and it's good call, this is what professional AFL footballers do now, they drag the ball under your opponent and try to keep him there, and they're getting the uh, free kicks more often than not, so good call from the umpire. Good. Turned around nicely, got rid of a couple, play fair his target at the back of Mark Sydney. That's a good jump. Finally, O'Keefe. Campbell Brown is looking at the umpire saying, I touched it first, I was in front. Doesn't want to give a 50 away here. He was pretty frustrated, Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> Just have a look here. I'll try and get out He's got a good case. He's got a very good case. Unfortunately, we get the benefit yeah. of the replay. It's hard for the umpire and <laughs> any forward worth his salt. No, you were a defender, Spud, but uh, he'll claim that one. There's the 50. Yeah, it was always coming. Eventually it came. Yeah. Mouthing off. Well, he's got nowhere to go now, Campbell, unfortunately. Jared Moore's walked over to him. They were at each other. You've just got to walk away. The only thing that happens is a 50 like this. Yeah, well, that's the thing. We called that it was a possibility. Controversial mark, but it was there. We see Campbell Brown, uh, Alistair Clarkson has made the move. We'll bring him off the ground. It's Jared Moore in his face, just sort of trying to get under his skin. Jared Moore knew the only option here is that it could be a 50 metre penalty if he, he really balls over the top. I think Campbell will go to the phone at some stage, and I suggest he holds the phone away from his ear. Well, I don't think he probably doesn't need the message. The message has already been delivered. Come off. <laughs> Campbell Brown on the phone. He's not speaking to Alastair Clarkson. He's speaking to Rossi Smith. Well, Rossi Smith, the obvious, defensive though, coach. 
<laughs> he probably didn't have to be told. But the last thing Hawthorne need is a little bit of momentum for Sydney coming into half time. I think that's what they'd be talking about. Don't give them an opportunity to get some confidence. That's a very good point. And the best way to do that for Hawthorne is to take it down the end and kick a goal. Williams, if he finds a target, may well do that. Ladson's got a back back, but Bevan stands and waits. It's good positioning again from Bevan. Spreads it wide. Bird, his target. And he just chips it back. And if Sydney get the follow-up goal, I think that's when Campbell's in a little bit of strife at half-time. Yeah, yeah. I think if Hawthorne can get a couple back and just gain ascendancy again. And if Sydney get back-to-back -back goals... Oops. Yeah, they haven't let him do that all day. Yeah. The Sydney Swans, great defence from Hawthorne. Great work. On here. Rough head. He set this goal up. Williams looks for him. Oh, well done, Craig Bolton. The hands in the back against Lance Franklin. Because he pushed back hard into the contest. That was fantastic play from Bolton. You're right, Lynch. Here. Just the ability to push back there is outstanding. Sydney, though, again the turnover. It's coming back pretty quickly. This time it's Hodge. He doesn't miss. Luke Hodge gets the goal to Hawthorne won Turnovers are hurting the Sydney Swans. They worked hard to get back there. And I think there was a tackle from Ty Canelli on Osborne that he couldn't... That's a free kick to against Craig Bolton, or to Craig Bolton from Lance Franklin. This tackle here, Ty Canelli, this is, he's got a fair few problems with his shoulder. And just see, so he couldn't hold the tackle. And uh, he took a fair while to get up from the uh, ground there. That's obviously that dislocated shoulder is causing a few problems, but very important goal before half-time for the Hawks. Hodge has been a goal kicker in the last four weeks. He's kicked ten goals. And he was the right man at the right time to get that goal back that Hawthorne gave up. And Canelli is working hard because every time he tries to clear it, it comes straight back at him. And it was an important goal in that Hawthorne, would, um, Sydney Swans were working hard to get back in this contest with a, a couple of quick goals. And uh, for Hawthorne to answer it in that situation was very important. Bolton, O'Loughlin is out there in front of Murphy. Played for the free, didn't get it. Ellis scooped it up, gave it to Mitchell. Around the corner, Morton together. running onto it. Couldn't take it. He's knocked out of the contest by Barry. Roughhead in and over the ball. Searching handball forward. Ablett wrapped up by Williams. Hawthorne tackling superb. Sydney went out though. Goods. Free man as Buchanan can cut back in the middle. He does. Kirk, point of the square. Short pass. Play fair drop that gets a free. Crowe can't believe it. On the hands in the back. We saw it at the other end. Lance Franklin against Craig Bolton on that occasion. Playfair had already spilt the mark, but it was just a, a desperation lunge from Crowe to put pressure on Playfair and had the hands in the back. Just see here, yeah, there's not much in it, but we know the rule is if you put the hands in the back these days, they'll play it. He missed one earlier. This one from directly in front. He's got the distance. Goal for goal here at the MCG. Much needed goal for Sydney. See Trent Crowe there. <laughs> Pretty frustrated. Tiggy Touchwood. Letter of the war. Let's have a look, at the look again. Here. He spilt the mark. And he was, well, there was a hand towards the back. It was probably either side, was it? We didn't get the benefit of the scene behind whether Trent Crowe's fist was clenched. If it clenched, it's not a free kick. If it was open, it's definitely a free kick. Still plenty of push and shove going on between Crowd and Playfair after that goal. And as we saw with Campbell Brown, you just don't want the Hawthorne players to uh, spill over their top, their, their emotion, their vigour at the opposition player. Just got to be careful to contain it. Emotions are running high. 90 seconds remain in this first half. But it's still tough in close. Really enjoyed the physical side of this game today. Yep. A lot of good, hard contests. Yeah, the, attack on the, the attack on the ball's been fantastic. Get up, get up. Oh, it's been, you know, players like Ellis who just going. dived in there, just play almost on, suicidal sometimes at the contest. Both hold, play on, play on! Hodge, wait. Waited too long. Hodge dropping the ball. Holding the ball. Well, he's looking for the release out the back, and unfortunately the wingers didn't get around the back for the release. Hawthorne are very good at that, but he had a look, and there's no one there. Jolly coming up for disposal, number 12. No one on the mark. The big man decides to hit the pocket. O'Keefe's got some space. Didn't take it, went to ground. Two on one. Ladson back again. And happy to see it over. Well done, Rick Ladson. 
No, but he's well done, Campbell Brown. I think there was a little bit of frustration <laughs> that spoiled from Campbell Brown there. Just back onto the ground. He wanted to redeem himself. Sydney from the clearance again. Kirk deep into the pocket. Here's Brown once again. O'Keefe got rid of him. We've got a ball up. We were inside the last minute. It's a 27-point game. Hawthorne led at quarter time by six. So look at the contest. Campbell Brown fresh back on the ground from a spell on the bench. Great contest. First out at Moore. Battles it forward. Trying to thread their way through was Bolton, but in the way. Clever Virgil, kick. yeah. Sets up Crow. Now, can they take it to the other end? Virgil's run on. Hard run from him. Crow, a little bit messy on the kick. Oh, he just steps around Everett Virgil. Nice work. Gillum on the left. Osborne. Open for Crawford. Decides to go longer to Campbell. Campbell steals it off of Barry, hands it to Ruffhead. Ruffhead gets his first right before half time. The Hawks will be pumped. Great goal, Hawthorne. It started in the middle of the ground. Everett had to corral or at least gain a tackle. Missed tackles clear in football. We just see the long kick from Osborne. Great move here, just putting Campbell forward, stretching the Sydney defence. Jared Reffer head stays down, and that's a very good goal. <laughs> Funny thing about it, Franklin and Ruffhead have kicked a lot of goals from ground level. We expect them from the high marks, but they've been very good at ground level today. Great work from Hawthorne. Great running goal. Started at Birchall. Deep in defence, kept going, and Ruffhead finished it off, and he's just dropped into the hole for the last 10 seconds of the quarter. Well, to Clarkson, he said, enough, enough. Enough, enough. enough. Well, be happy with this lead at half time. Oh, coming in off the line. Buchanan. Oh, the solid down from hit. Hawthorne. And the siren will go. Hodge is down. Hodge is down. He's getting up. He's a tough man. Buchanan came in hard off the line. It's been an outstanding quarter from Hawthorne. Six goals to two. Here's Hodge. Here's Buchanan. Bang. Well, he's definitely looked at. Oh, of course it has. He's hit him in the head. Well, any head high contact, the they, they, they look at. He's in a little bit of strife there, Eamon Buchanan. Hodge is a magnificent ball player. You've got to protect your ball player, especially at centre square. Well, anywhere on the ground, but it's got to be looked at, no doubt. The Hawks have been tough, they've been physical, but more importantly, they've been more skilled than Sydney, and they've taken control of this game. Half-time here at the MCG, third versus fourth, third lead by 33 points. Live International Rugby, Saturday night on Fox Sports. They stewed the Irish and dined out on French cuisine. Now it's time for the main course. How Wallabies Tri Nations campaign begins when they collide with the Springboks at Subiaco. Matt Gitto scores! Only Fox Sports will deliver live, uninterrupted action nationwide. Brought to you by Australia's number one rugby commentary team. What a try! Australia, South Africa, live Saturday night from 7, Fox Sports 3. you like to make your child's day it's just one way you could spend your real bonus from real insurance and real insurance has already started paying them out if you haven't had a claim with us for three years in a row we'll give you back 10 percent cash of all the premiums you've paid us during that time for car home and contents insurance call real insurance on 13 1948 how would you spend your real bonus oh, sorry oh, sorry you no 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 you go with two crispy chicken strips, fresh cucumber and sweet chilli sauce, the McAsia Wrap is now at McDonald's for two weeks only. Race in and try one today. Not for the first.
first time Brett Kirk with his head taped as we're underway for the third quarter. And Kirk is there, but also Ladson, who just shoveled it out to Birchall. It ends with Ellis, who bangs it forward. Here's Williams again, liked his first half. Into the pocket, Osman got rid of Matt. Now here's Franklin again, trying to manufacture something. <laughs> Well, two goals, work. four now for Franklin. Good work from a number of uh, Hawthorne players there. I mean, Williams pushed right up the ground to get his possession and uh, put a ball into position where I think Osman, he, he worked his player out of position, but then just tried to pluck the one-hander and Lance Franklin went close to kicking a miraculous goal. Their forward really worked for each other. Well, and again, another turnover. That kick was inexcusable there from Matna. I wouldn't be kicking anywhere near Rioli from a kick in. Too quick. He was so quick. Well, it would have been made a little bit easier if he actually hit the target, though. Kieran Jack just bounced in front of him. But uh, look a bit flustered, the Sydney Swans, with their disposal. It's a very unusual, one of the coolest, calmest teams in the competition at their best. Wonderful shot on the reverse angle of what is ahead for Cyril Rioli, and that's always going to be on the light side. So just the behind and so the margin to 35. The focus of Barry Hall during right the week, out. you'd like to think Sydney wouldn't worry about it going into today's oh, game. No way in the world they would. You wouldn't have thought this so. This professional outfit had won six of their last seven. But the fact is right that uh, there's been an enormous amount of focus on on uh, Barry Hall and obviously the players have been involved, the leadership gr group's been involved. So when Marty Matner's taking a kick in, he's thinking about Barry Hall. Well, he's not, well, but it has not. been a focus during the week. And maybe, maybe a distraction. No. I'm sure they, I'm sure they want that. him back. Kirk, kicking it long. O'Loughlin sets himself at ground level. Campbell Brown, the crumb. He's wrapped up. He's holding the ball. A chance for Sydney advantage not paid. He comes back. But just to help you out, Lynchy, I'm not going to let Matthew just sort of oh, win that one with just one foul swoop. Just muscle me out of it, he was, Matty Campbell. The facts are, Hawthorne have been beaten six times as well. Their m mindset has all been about winning the hard ball and playing some good footy. Sydney, unfortunately, have had three days of talking about Barry Hall and their focus. So I know they're professional, Matty, but they're human as well. Right, so that uh, focus is on a drop punt. I won't wear that. We can argue all day. Let's get back to Eamon Buchanan. He needs to kick one. He's obviously still thinking about something else. He's kicked another behind. That's three shots from Buchanan. Five goals for the difference. Sydney continue to let themselves down in front of goal from their set shots. And from the few times they've gone inside 50, the shots they missed is really hurting them on the scoreboard. Well, Buchanan is a half forward. You finish with three goals, you've had a very good day. Three behinds. You've had a stinker. That's a great grab under pressure. Playing well young, isn't he? He's done some terrific things this afternoon. That kick, though, just to the advantage of Bevan, who takes a nice grab himself. Now, the switch of play to Goods. The second one has troubled them, though. They've really struggled to get a, a player on the switch free. Yeah, now they do. Haven't seen much of it yeah. from the Swans. They spread very well when they're playing well. But uh, just, I mean, it's got to be a wrap on the pressure that's been applied one on one from the Hawthorne side. Also, the ability of Hawthorne manning the mark. Have a look. Williams is playing deep forward. He's ran up and really made sure Matna doesn't get any flow on. Have a look at Ruffhead here also. Got numbers back to Hawthorne. They've got every player, all 18 players in the defensive half, the Hawks. Play fair. Looking for Ablett. He's out in front of Birchall. Keeps it in. Did OK. Inside the 50. High ball. Standing and waiting, though, was Gillum. Nice mark under pressure. He just goes short. Tuck. He's in some space. He can take it and go. No one comes near him. Franklin moving forward. He went down to help out. It's not going to get past Bolton here. Super play there from Bolton. He was aware that Franklin was trying to get goal side and tap the ball over the top, but he didn't allow him to run goal side. Bolton just gave it straight back to Hawthorne, though. Ladson pinched though by McVeigh. A lot of room for Barry Goods, not a lot of time for him. Now McVeigh, O'Loughlin the target. Yours, Too much yours, on the yours. kick, numbers for Hawthorne, Hodge going back. Spreading wide, Williams. His work rate is up on, on the burst. Kick just missed his target though. Enough time for Ruffhead to run onto it, more approaches. 
Franklin now with some space. Back to Young. We've got Through a number the of the players ground. with space. They're just working a little harder at the moment. Up forward, Osborne came out. Matna let him go. Osborne, desperate to keep it going Too inside high. the 450, wins the free kick. And to your call is correct. The start of this third quarter, you just expect Sydney to play man on man. They've got a man, but they haven't got a leg rope. It's a ski rope at the moment. The amount of space the Hawthorne players have had time and space to deliver the ball is just about inexcusable at the moment. Over the last couple of minutes, we've just seen how the Swans have tried to move the ball off half back and they've uh, really struggled to find anyone in any, with any time and space. But on the flip side, Hawthorne have just got numbers everywhere. 16-3 coming into the game for Osborne. Unfortunately, today he's off target. No Hawthorne player there whatsoever. I think they were already in their zone. Yeah, that's set up. Jack, run down by Rioli. Classic Cyril Rioli. You've got to know your players' strengths and weaknesses. This young fellow, Cyril Rioli, he's one of the best tacklers in the competition already. Heads to the square, waiting for a big mark. Osborne went up very early, and it'll be a rush behind. A lack of awareness there from Sydney also. You've got to know that Rioli's in your direct area. He's so given him the 10. Ball. Bang. Got him. It's fantastic stuff. We've seen some great chases from Hawthorne today. One from Rioli, or two from Rioli, one from Brown. Play on. Play on. Bolton, forced to go. And that slippery surface. Franklin almost got him. Yeah. Well, that's it. enough on it. I thought it was going short to Williams for a second. It's Goods. O'Keefe, he's got to get involved. Yes, Campbell, you got it, you got it, thank you. That's where it's nice and slippery on the member's side. Find there, Trent, you got it, thank you. O'Loughlin, oh, just chip into Buchanan, now he's right on the 50. Just outside 50. He's got a player in the pocket, it's a low percentage Fine, kick. Mark. Speaking of, oh. And that's a nice take, it's McVeigh. It was a good effort in the end. If he had gone to Bolton when he did, he was going to get yeah. double turned Bolton, so he just... Changed his mind, looked in board, pulled the trigger to McVay. Yeah, smarter decision, wasn't it? Good mark for McVay, yeah. too. Yeah. That's it. Yep. Needless to say, he's got to go back and slot this one. Just missed too many opportunities at the moment. Too many set shots. From 45 degrees. Big kick this for the Swans. 40 metres starts it out right, wants it to come back, does as it's told. They get one on the board at last. That's a better start from Sydney. Yeah. Well, well, they worked their way up there quite well. And it was good ball use. It was the first time they've nearly gone the length of the ground and they've hit every target. McVeigh, they need him. Look, he's been in su uh, superb form. Only the eight disposals. Very good mark. We see Ladson coming over the top. Just need more of the same there. They've got their A-team in the middle. Kirk, McVeigh, Ablett. So the kick in from Ladson straight up the guts with a short one. And this will be a good test for them. How they can hold up the run of Hawthorne coming out of the back half. See how effective your zone is. Often is an indicator of how you are switched on. So Crow gave it to Young and turned to Morton. They've switched to one-on-one -on -one here, Sydney. To one, Bolton in best position was always going to mark that. Good use of the body, just nudged. Uh, the big Ruckman. Kirk Buchanan. The ball. Not a lot of room here. Bolton kept going and fumbled. Luckily, it spills to McVeigh, who pops it into the pocket. O'Loughlin goes back. Free kick should be a Hawthorne kick, and it's Campbell Brown. Well, O'Loughlin was trying to turn around Campbell Brown. Good use of the body from Brown. Didn't allow O'Loughlin goal side, and O'Loughlin hanging on. Spud, you, you touched on the handball, uh, the effective disposals for the Sydney Swans. I mean, Bolton probably should have grabbed that one, but it was just behind him. He just had to turn back and uh, wasn't sure where he was running and fumbled. And especially in these conditions, it's very slippery underfoot and your momentum's running one way. And as you said, you handball a little bit off the V where the player wants it out in front. You stop and prop and it's just about impossible to change direction. Everett did well to get it down to Bolton. Throws it on the boot, gets it for Roberts. Thompson punches into the danger zone. Birchwood first to it, though. Sewell under pressure. O'Keefe gets rid of him. It's a hard footy to win here. Sewell went off the ground. Bird need to clean take. Crawford did well. It's hard and tough. Ellis came through with a big tackle. It's good stuff. 
Great play. Both teams going very hard at the ball. Good tackle from Ellis on Roberts Thompson and then Crawford lending a hand as well. From the clearance, it's the clearance Kings. Mitchell and Kirk at it, Bird helped out. Sydney are hunting well here, Danny. But they're not this getting any reward on the board. What was their best vein of form in this game? Well, well done. Bevan again, he's taken some good marks. Yeah, good courage, ran back with a fly to the ball. Lewis Roberts Thompson tried to protect the space and just blocked his opponent no, 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 out so Bevan could take the mark. I'll tell you where it is. Me! He went short, wasn't confident. Now, Spider's in the pocket. Is he on the right side? No, he's not for a left footer. No, he tried to grab a yard or two on the angle. Big spy, but the umpire was awake to him. Hawthorne crowd, giving him a few jeers. The big fella. It's his third game against Hawthorne. He hasn't kicked the goal, but he needs it now. Everett, tight kick. Never going to score a goal. In fact, won't even make the distance. That and Sydney have four goals from ten shots. Once again, that goal square shot there uh, was an instance where the fours just didn't have a contest. There was one on four in the goal square. They're all in the zone. You've still got to play the game. I'm with you, Lynch here. The ball goes up your side of you. Well, you get a contest, you get an easy goal. Shot on goal. Speaking of contest, it was a brilliant one. won by Saul. Williams, intelligent. Franklin, devastating. Long ball, rough head. Oh, good sport from Barry, but they're not out of jail yet. Sydney, they get the boundary line. What a good duel we have, Barry and Joe Ruffhead. Let's have a look here. It's a good mark. See, four players on, on one, uh, four or five. It makes it very tough. You've just got to still be alert. Great sport, Leo Barry. Ruffhead flipped it out the back, but unfortunately for him, no one there for the Hawks. Bolton, Everett wants to give it off, and he does. Bevan's going to run into trouble. Buchanan spinning. Well, oh, they've got numbers here. They've just got to get it out into space. Not yet. O'Loughlin had to go back. Kirk in trouble. Sydney trying to get something going. O'Keefe. They're running it with hand, Sydney. They're running through the middle of the ground with handball. He heads into the pocket. Nick Kenny. Smith. Nick Smith runs onto it. Game number two. The young man will kick his first goal. Magnificent play here from Sydney. And one thing about the handball, Lynchy, it creates movement. You stop and prop and kick short all the time. You don't get a lot of run. Now they're playing on with some hands. Well, if you can play on with hands through that big grid that Hawthorne uh, basically put over the whole ground, you can carry over the space. For his first goal in AFL football, and he doesn't make a mistake. That was good work, as you said, to work through the middle of the ground with hands and just to get over the back of the zone into space. And on that occasion, for young Nick Smith, just see here, a good kick. Still the defence of Hawthorne are drifting back. Nick Smith had got on the other side, the offensive side for the Swans and taken a very good mark. Very important goal for the Sydney Swans. Just turned 20 a month ago, and he's on the board. And uh, not a bad way to get your first goal. And uh, O'Keefe says, run there, I'll kick it to you. You just do the rest. Sydney, back to 22 points. Good attack on the ball from Tuck, and he wins the free kick. Seen that so many times today from Hawthorne. Quickly away. Mitchell to the goal square, to the tall timber, to Franklin. Recovers, paddles it. Can he get a boot to ball? Yes, he can. At ground level, he is the master. Just about impossible to defend. Lance Franklin did a very good job to bring the ball to the ground. We just assumed he was going to mark the ball. And then it spilled out the back. And that's always a danger sign when you're playing on a guy like Lance Franklin. Remember this great contest. Bolton did a very good job. But as soon as the ball was over the back, it was all over for Bolton. You can just see him here trying desperately. That's a super goal. Great strength also. Have a little goal umpire. Outstanding work from Franklin. Now with 15 disposals, three goals, four. Lee Cole, but at ground level. Just when you thought the Swans were putting the squeeze on, uh, Lance Franklin kicks a goal, but uh, more importantly for Hawthorne, Shane Crawford came off. He's pretty uh, lame at the moment, Crawford, so uh, he'll be all right, but uh, he just looked a little knocked up, I think. 
The margin's back to 28. Once again, Hawthorne with the answering goal after Sydney managed a couple. Richards managed to put himself under pressure. Bolton. It was Bolton to Bolton. It ended up with Craig, who got it from Jude. Bouncing ball now. Canelli with a clean take. Hodge with a strong tackle. The Hawthorne fans happy. Sorry, Danny. A lot of test the shoulder out of Canelli, sorry. Great intent by Luke Hodge. Sun shining here at the home of football. Bird on the up. Ablett in trouble. Roberts Thompson over the top. Again, it's Tuck burrowing through. We'll have another ball up, and again, it's warm applause from this Hawthorne fans. The skills of the Sydney Swans are still struggling, but their spread and runoff halfback has certainly improved. But just the, uh, the pressure from the Hawks has been enormous. Kirk can't get clear because Mitchell's there first. And it'll have to be very good because the uncontested possessions also this quarter are Sydney's favour, 47 to 25. So they're creating a lot of movement, a lot of run. Hawthorne just need to maintain the intensity and the pressure. This is the fourth stoppage in a row, and Jolly just throws Campbell to the ground, and Campbell will get the, the free kick. When we talk Hawthorne, we don't talk with rucks that often. Campbell and Taylor, they're good combination. They work well together. They're, they're better than just honest, aren't they? Yeah, they, they do a are. very good job every week. Osman, he's away. Short pass, Franklin got him. Talking honest, Osborne, Michael Osborne, 13 disposals. When we talk about Roughhead, we talk Franklin, who's having a shot on goal, Rioli and Williams, but Osborne also. Bit of an unsung hero down there for the Hawks. Great speed. He had a shot from uh, almost the same position in the second term at the other end of the ground. This sort of angle. And uh, he had floated forward. Just uh, spun forward off the boot. He's had three goals, four, and he's kicked two shockers. Right behind him. That one. It's not, not going to score either. either. So... Ten shots at goal for the Premier Ford in the competition for three goals. Have all these three goals been at ground level also? Certainly two have, yeah. Oh. Um, Spud, you spent some time down in Hawthorne with the Fords. You teaching him how to kick? Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> well, Saul under pressure from Bolton. I'll let you contemplate that, Danny. Give you time to put something. Put it this way, if I saw any vision of me kicking when I played Lynchy, I'd have to say yes, but no, I think I'll just leave that alone to the experts. David Rath apparently is doing a very good job down there at Hawthorne. 28 oh, points is the margin. We're inside the last five minutes of the third turn. Whistle. Yeah, Osborne just running in the contest, was held up by his opponent there and uh, got the free kick. Franklin wants it long. It's not long enough. Goods had to go good and win a free kick. Yeah, that was great. That was just good AFL play by both players. It certainly Lance Franklin was. had to go at the ball and make contact, but he's always going to give a free kick away. It's one thing having to go. It's another thing having to go when you know there's a big power forward coming at you. Yeah, just a good contest from both boys there. And he gets cleaned up after he kicked it by the same man. Much to the joy of the Hawthorne fans in the pocket. And again, there's a fair bit of intensity. Oh, he's in trouble. Yeah, he's in again. real trouble down here. Yeah, Ty Canelli Ty is dislocated his shoulder again. As you see, Adam Goods go down, but he's in a lot of pain. He'll have to come off now. Oh, oh, don't touch it, for goodness sake. He'll have to stay off, sure. How courageous with that? He was nearly going to grab the ball. Yeah, it'll be back in a sec. Just watch the big clunk as that arm comes down. There, there it goes. goes. Oh. Gee. He's back into it. <laughs> Have a look at this as he goes, and it hasn't taken much. It's just, it's a lot of pain. He's had injections at halftime as well, no doubt. But uh, that's not a good sign. <laughs> He's going to be sore tonight. Ellis, his kick smothered. Goods paddles it back towards McVeigh. It's tough and hard He's again. He's in strife now, Canelli. He's trying hard, Canelli. Hawthorne trying even harder. Rough head around the corner. That might bounce through. No, wrong side of the post. He's aware of it also. You could see him grab the ball there, and his first instinct was, is someone going to tackle me and drive me into the ground? <laughs> He's aware of it. It's falling out every half hour at the moment. Wow. Important time now, this last three and a half minutes before three-quarter time. Hawthorne really pressing here. They can sort of wrap up the game with one or two goals. But the intensity's been really good yeah. for both teams. Yeah, it's been great. There's been a few mistakes, but the attack on the ball is fantastic. The pressure's been really good. 
There's we, Ty again. We talk about the courage of footballers, but it's understated sometimes. Ty can only even being out in the ground at the moment in those in this situation takes a hell of a lot of courage. Here he is. Just a little chip pass into the middle. Ablett. Bolton's got a bit of time. And he kicks it into the pocket. No one really there for Sydney. Young going back. Gets some support from Brown, who's happy to rush it through. Sydney Swans have pushed their half, uh, their full forward line up to, across centre half forward, and the kick was to be long so that they turn, the Swans can turn their defenders and run back towards goal. Just the, the kick was a little bit askew and uh, was too close to the boundary line, and in the end, Campbell Brown just rushed over for a behind. So Brown then kicks it out really to no one in particular. Chance for goods. Good vision. Saw Playfair had a little bit of a hole to run into. Can kick it a long way, but decides to kick out into the sunlight looking for O'Keefe. Misses everybody. O'Loughlin, clean take. The give was good. Matna fumbled it, let him down. Hooks it back. Hawthorne with numbers here. Crowd went through with strength. Ladson. Again, it's a hot ball. Again, it's pretty hard to get free. And we'll get a whistle. Out of his back. No chance. That was fine. Thank you. The direction from the umpire there about the appeal for the free kick. Look out the footy! Way up! Plenty of players around the ball. And they're all waiting for it to come out. out. Where's it going to end up? Jude Bolton almost got booked to ball. Bird on hands and knees. O'Keefe, he should kick these. He's an All-Australian player and he does. That's Ryan O'Keefe's second goal. He's been reasonably well held today and uh, there's been a few players rotated through that position to, to keep him quiet. But uh, just the eight disposals, but some good work. Bit of a fumble to start with, but he's a noted goal kicker. Very smart, snap, very smart snap on the left foot. And once again, another important one for the Sydney Swans just to stay in this contest. O'Keefe has kicked it and he's still barking instructions because he can sense in his last two minutes if they can get one more. The game is played on Sydney's terms. What I mean by that is a lot of stoppage work. Yep. Not a lot of run and carry. A stagnant game of football. This suits Sydney. So Jude, Jude Bolton's coming to the game a bit as well. It's that controlling the tempo of the game when it was just getting out of hand there at one stage through the second term. And also getting secondary and third stoppages, Lynchy. Play fair. It was well read by Crawford. He knew it was coming in that direction. Mitchell kicking it high and handsome. Mm, beats Richards over. Margin was 33 at half time. It's back to 22. And the stoppages inside 50 are probably the most important. Just it's very, uh, it's uh, sapping when you finally get the ball inside 50 and just bounces straight back out through the midfield. Adam Good's free kick. Adam Good's Another free kick. Umpire right down the other end of the ground, paid the free kick, not the controlling umpire. 70 metres off the ball. Yep, good vision. Adam Goods, low percentage kick there. Guerra almost got rid of O'Keefe. O'Keefe to McVeigh. No room to work there, but he somehow got it back to it. Then he kicks inside 50. Buchanan's oh, marked it, right, no. and he owes his team a goal. He certainly does. He's had three set shots on goal for three points. Clinton Young not noted as a key defender. And O'Keefe's just had a couple of telling possessions. Marks inside 50, Sydney 5, Hawthorne 1 for this term. But O'Keefe's just starting to inject himself into the game. Saw Guerra came off the interchange bench to get that match up again after O'Keefe kicked that last goal. And that's a genuine contested mark from a small forward. From 40 metres, has he got one on target? Yes, he has. Sydney back to 16 points. Well, we've seen how the Sydney Swans can, uh, can run and carry the ball and kick big scores when they need to this season. But also, we know over the years, they're as good as there is at controlling the tempo of the game. And they've certainly been able to slow the run of Hawthorne. And just through some forward momentum, they've been able to scrap the ball into their forward 50 and maximise their opportunities with marks like that, with snaps on goal like O'Keefe's. Some great goals from uh, Goods. And they're back in it. Finally for Eamon Buchanan, 
and Alistair Clarkson has something to think about at three-quarter time. Definitely need to get the game back on their terms. Three-quarter time. Can't come quickly enough for Alistair Clarkson. Just needs to reset his boys, their mindset. Can they get a quick one here? Hawthorne, they've got it. Taylor. Hands free. Hodge throws it on the boot. It's going in the right direction. Numbers here for Hawthorne. First two at Kieran Jack. Well done. What a smother, though, from Taylor, who came from the centre contest. Jack took it out. Good work from both sides. And a brilliant th third quarter has set something up for the last. They have halved the deficit from 33 to 16, and they have given themselves a chance. Ty Canelli, he'll welcome three-quarter time. We'll be back with an important last quarter right after this. Step inside the coach's box with Fox Sports and Jim Beam AFL Fantasy. Watch all your footy on Fox Sports and use your knowledge to put your best on ground round by round. Get the latest AFL news plus fantasy-specific articles to sharpen your coaching skills. Join any time and take on the office, your family or your mates for a share of eight grand in weekly and major prizes. A team of champions or a champion team. With Jim Beam AFL Fantasy, it's all up to you at foxsports.com.au. At Bunnings Warehouse, we've got the lowest prices every day. Here's proof. Koya doormat, just $4.94. Deluxe ceiling white, $40.70. Cut off saw, $128. Smoke alarm, $6.88. 15 watt energy saving globe, only $3.68. If you happen to find a cheaper price on a stocked item, we'll beat it by 10%. Bunnings Warehouse. Lowest prices are just the beginning. This shot of the week is brought to you by the Chrysler 300Z Series 1 Runout. Beautiful. Set up to the ball, nice tempo in the swing. And no supply, a one we've got. Oh, Phil Mickelson holes in one. That's the way to do it. It went in beautifully too. And that makes a big difference because it moves Phil Mickelson to two under par. Let's have a look at it again. Certainly worth it. He kept eyeing it up. Uh, he liked it all the way. One bounce, then a roll. Perfect. This shot of the week was brought to you by the Chrysler 300Z Series 1 run out. The new Samsung Series 6 LCD TV with full high definition and a crystal design finish. With Samsung, it's not that hard to imagine. Can the Swans continue or will Hawthorne just snuff out their comeback? We'll find out right now. Campbell on hands and knees again. Oh, and a wonderful tackle. Over the top, Luke Hodge. Great tackle from Hodge, but once again, as we've touched on, stoppage football is what the Swans want to do at the moment. The Hawks have just got to clear the congestion here. Big third up jumper over the top of the ruck contest to smash it into space. Goods having an effect, pushes it wide. Birchall gets an unkind bounce. Will it sit for Guerra? No, Keith off the ground. Adam Goods. Four times in the last five years in round 15 as Paul Brownlow votes. If he continues to get the footy, he'll give Sydney a chance and he'll give himself a chance to continue that record. And Sydney have just edged in front in the clearance count, 26 to 23. Jolly bangs it forward. O'Loughlin, the give. Kirk, can he dribble it through? He can't. There's been a big swing in momentum, probably about 15 minutes into that third term. The Swans are right back in it. Mitchell now. Great purchase on the kick. He really got good distance on the left. But Hawthorne, nothing clean here, but Osborne wins a free kick. It was good use in the body from Osborne. And now his advantage, Brady, went off the ground. He kicked it 45 metres. It lands with Buddy Franklin. And they've got a case to argue, yeah, surely. Oh, yeah, but the whistle was well and truly blown. They always blow the whistle. Anyway. He's a little unlucky there. 
Osbert sends it back towards Franklin. He got up high, but he just batted it back to Leo Barry. And what can Sydney do on the rebound? Play fair. Risky kick. Risky kick. Very important uh, free kick awarded to McVay. Darren Jolly just got a big knee in the head. He's been split open. A bit of claret come from the top of the scone there. He's in a little bit of trouble too. He's still hunched over. Just on the left of screen there in the hands of the trainers. It's been a good play for them too. Bevan to O'Keefe. The issue for Jolly will be... Whether the, he'll have to come off for the blood rule. Eventually will, when, when an umpire spots it. Bolton going backwards. Play fair. The chip kick into the pocket's not a good one. Crow. Hawthorne on the switch have got numbers. If they run and push hard, they could do something here. Ellis will be next in line. Sewell's running hard. Yeah, they needed someone to press, and they found it in Sewell. And that was great play. Williams dragged his man away to allow Sewell to be in space. And he's got time to measure up and find Franklin. Nothing Bolton could do there. Now this is uh, one of those little testers. 50 metres out on a tight angle. <laughs> he kicked the easy. It's his this. pet distance on his pet side. Yeah. Left foot in. He's, he's struggled with his conversion today, but uh, they haven't been on this tighter angle. And you just know these freakish type players like these ones that, that only, aren't expected to kick. Gives himself some room and hooks it. So we're talking about Sydney missing some set shots. Franklin hasn't got one all day. So he's been just as bad as a bigger culprit as say an Eamon Buchanan at the other end. Well, Roughhead and Franklin have kicked oh, four of eight between them. Chance for Williams. Paddles it forward. He's good on the ground, Franklin. What will he do here? This is where he gets him. He's kicked another behind. <laughs> Umpire's done the ankle as well. He's gone over. <laughs> and uh, Damien Sully rolled the ankle, but that just short into the corridor from a kick out to a contest was uh, lucky to get away with that one, the Swans. Damien Sully in a spot of bother. He'll push through it. Where you are, And there's Dave, uh, Darren Jolly still with it. Cut to the top of his head. Kick to the outer side. Goods in front. Ellis will win the free kick. Do you like his attack on the ball, Ellis? Well, that was fantastic. And that, he's done that a handful of times today. Yeah. He went in lower and harder than Adam Goods. Well, he popped his head up. Yep. Ellis was prepared to go in low. He knew he was probably going to get a hit in the head, but didn't get a free kick instead. In Goldthorne again. Rough head. Did he claim the mark? Well, he's claimed He's it. got it. Over the top of Richards, who can't believe it, and Ruffin will take a shot at goal. Yeah, Tim Richards is going to walk away, can't give away a 50 here, because it is a tough shot on goal, but a good jump over the back from Jared Ruffin. He has played on and has kicked it around the corner, and he's pumped up. Good steady up for Hawthorne. Ted Richards is not too happy with the result. It's in the scoreboard. You see the umpire there in the hands of the trainer, but... Great awareness from Ruffhead, left foot, right on, just see the replay. Ooh, hey, that's oh. nearly a ball up. Well, Richard's got, had a piece of it and he's the man in front, so Ruffhead shouldn't have got the mark. Twice that's happened today. Yeah. Once down the other end with Campbell Brown. Thanks, lean run, lean run. Ludson to Osborne. The running player out wide, Rioli. Jack forgot to tackle him. Rioli just getting it forward. Sewell did well. Crawford measures a pass. Rarely wastes the footy, John Crawford. Morton makes a 50. So do the Hawthorne fans. Morton's up and away quickly into the pocket. Franklin marks again. And soon he's going to get one short. Well, shot number 12 on goal. <laughs> it's very good play from Morton. Mather did well to try and hold him up. Here goes Franklin. Can he get one? They'll go berserk if he does. Three goals, seven, and three times he hasn't scored. 13 shots at goal from the big man. Well, that was a bit closer to what we saw in the pregame when he was just taking that one or two steps, just coming around on the left foot and just slotting through, through from 50 metres. He's just... Uh, I think he's going to play on again next time he has a shot on goal. Oh, good spoil from Murphy, and they'll enjoy that. Had a very good game, Tommy Murphy. He has, hasn't he? That's what you want to see from the young defenders. Just have a contest. Be aggressive. 
Taylor's the holding on to Everett. He was there. Just the experience of Everett in the front position of that run co ruck contest. Drew the free kick, another one that goods. He was looking for the one-two from Kirk there, and he was held up. Well, it's Kirk's the kick. Play, so it's to your All right, they work it out. It ends up with goods anyway. Just pulls the kick at the last minute. Not 15. Good decision. Everett chips it out wide. Sewell there first for Hawthorne. They go back. Ladson under pressure. Jude Bolton to play fair. Now a player looking at goal. It's Everett. Measures it. Wants Buchanan. Oh, oh right right right. <laughs> Wonderful mark by the veteran. He grabs his head. He may have landed fairly hard. But uh, that's a big leap. Haven't seen Mickey O'Loughlin get up that high for a while. He hasn't lost his speed. I'm, I thought he may have lost his spring, but that is a very good mark. He worries about his head. What about Campbell Brown's head? He copped the knee. Bang. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Mickey O copped the knee on the way down. That's a good jump. Buchanan, 32 over there. So the head's spinning at the moment. Buchanan, come and take he's given the kick away. He's in, uh, Eamon Buchanan's got it, and he's been woeful in front of goal tonight. Well, Mickey yeah, O'Loughlin's very good kick on goal. Normally, Eamon Buchanan is too. Normally is, that's right. It's a he's big a, call. He's very much dazed at the moment. One goal three today, Eamon Buchanan. Margin at 22. After a big O'Loughlin grab, Buchanan does the right thing by him and brings it back to 16. Great mark from O'Loughlin. How's he looking down there, Lee Colbert? Yeah, mate, he's... <laughs> Mickey O, he's a bit tased, all right. He's groggy as, so uh, he's not sure where he is at the moment, but um, the docks don't seem too concerned. Great to see him get off the ground, Mickey O. He's had a very good year. Look at his speed in the veteran class, but... Still is a handful for any defender. Two in a row for Buchanan, so he's starting to even up the ledger. O'Loughlin did the hard work for him. Swan, stay in touch. Bit of the old smelling salts. Yeah, the smelling salts, yes, yeah, so under the nose to wake him up. Here's Goods. Taylor gets boot to ball. Affects the clearance. Good gather. Yeah, Williams. And didn't panic either. He gave it to Taylor. He just says, I'm going long. Choice of two. Roughhead or Franklin. Bevan swamped by the ladder. Craig Bolton, a little bit untidy. Put Matner under pressure. Everett. Look at the speed of Osmond. The closing speed. Outstanding stuff. Huge win there for Hawthorne. Far away, Sydney. There. Numbers behind the ball. But again, just a couple of little fumbles. On the outside work. of the foot there. Great, great tackle, odd one. Chance for Hawthorne. But Jude Bolton got an easy one from Everett. It's got no one to here. kick to. Got a run and carry. Bird, goods, back to Bird. Now players moved on. Advantage is paid. That player is Roberts Thompson, but he has no one to kick to. He has to wait. McVeigh. One option only, and that's Buchanan. Canelli's up forward. Heads in that direction, but floating across for a good mark. And that was... Canelli was there to lead at the ball, quite rightly. He wasn't confident to put his arms up. Now yeah, Hawthorne should go at the other side here. Crawford peeled off, but Guerra didn't see him. You? Ellis. It's a dead. There, Louis. A bit static here, Hawthorne. Just yeah. waiting now. You're right, Guerra had to pull the trigger a lot earlier. The ball is coming this way, and now they're trying to switch play. Might be a bit late now, though. Well, One-on-ones right across the field at the moment. Brown goes in the Crawford direction. That's where it all could have gone in the first place. Nice kick. Had to hit the target. That yeah. would have been an enormous amount of pressure on Crawford, who seems to be struggling with an injury if it hit the ground. Nicky O looks like he's recovered. He'll be on the ground very shortly. Well, Crawford has made an absolute meal of it. I just mentioned before how he loves to hit the target. That is very uncharacteristic. He's just up one step. Yeah, one of those, he, was, he still had his weight going backwards, basically. Oh, that's almost a very strong mark from Ablett because he was out, mark, out number two to one. Hawthorne pressed forward. Three on one, Swans. Oh, that's a super outstanding mark there from Leo Barry. 
stood firm. Player down, advantage again. Running carry might be the go for Sydney here. Bevan, poor kick. Oh, that was a poor option. Taylor was in the way. Numbers for Hawthorne. Brown. Murphy. Matner arrives. Murphy's kick towards Osborne. And it'll go out. Got numbers behind the ball at the moment. Sydney Swans. Bevan's behind the ball. Jolly's playing a kick behind the ball. We see Osborne and Jolly. So a little bit of... Uh, there you going? Crowd in full voice here on a Sunday afternoon at the MCG. Hodge breaks away. Where will he find his target? <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Take your pick. This time Williams. Sometimes it's just got to be in the right man's hands and that right man is Luke Hodge. Let up the middle of the ground beautifully. Williams with the kick drew the lead. That was the key there. And Lynch, you'd love to be leading when you see Luke Hodge four to the centre. With not a lot of pressure on him with that left foot. Yeah, Williams' starting point was deep in the goal square with his direct opponent, Ted Richards, and just beautiful lead into a nice pass. Franklin's been off target. Williams hasn't. He's got four goals, one. A good mix up in the forward line. We talked about it, Matty. Off target, Franklin and Roughhead. But we know Mark Williams, one of the best set shots in the competition. See the stoppage there again. Great work from Hodge. Pick that up at ground level and put it lace out to Williams. Four goals, one great return. It was good work, and Canelli was the one who was trying to tackle but didn't have the strength because of the shoulder. He's worked hard, Williams. He's had 17 disposals. Let's head down to the ground once again, Lee. Yeah, the star forward, he's back out there, Mickey O'Loughlin, which is great news. He just had trouble with his vision, boys. He, uh, he couldn't see, so uh, he's OK now. Well, he's got just over nine minutes out there. And once again, though, Hawthorne give himself just that buffer of about 22 points. Sorry, Luke. Sorry, didn't see anything, mate. Very important couple of minutes. See Mickey O'Loughlin down there with Campbell Brown, that matchup. Secondary bounce once again. McVeigh squeezes it forward. Murphy. Crawford with just a little fumble. Then back to Guerra. He's under the pump. Smith. Too high. Sydney kick. Just a handball from Crawford, which is slightly off to Guerra. And with that slippery surface, couldn't change direction quick enough to take possession. A jolly inboard. Outside scoring distance. This is going to go to Goods. Well, he went to the pockets where Lachlan, that is low percentage. <laughs> Mickey O's got it, though. Unless Mickey O Lachlan's there. Two on one. Both players, I think, slipped. Well, this will test his vision. Look for him to play on here. He's probably seeing eight posts. Campbell Brown's aware that he's going to play on. He's standing the mark in the corridor. Oh, a little right foot check side. Just straight as you like. O'Loughlin, big kick. Oh, it's the post. It's either of them. It's never on the right side to come back, though, was it? No, Terrific that's a mark. very good mark. Saw both players, Campbell Brown and Mickey O'Loughlin, just struggling to get their foot in. It's a there, Michael. Thank you. 21 points is the break at the moment for Hawthorne. And we're into eight minutes to go, and soon the clock will become an issue. Now Mark Williams is the target there for Hawthorne. We see Franklin marking the ball, but Williams, that's a great matchup because Ted Richards, more sure to play in centre-half back. Not sure of the leg speed factor on Mark Williams back there. Franklin, long ball. Wrestle, now who's going to have that? So, What do you do with Paul Roos? Do you want to make a change there with Williams isolated in the forward 50? No, I think you've got to let it go because Bolton's doing it, well, the best job possible on Franklin. Yours, yours, yours. Sewell's kick, Goods just standing in the hole, stands and waits and marks. And you could be sure if uh, Richards was rotated out, they'd probably try to drag his then opponent back to the goal square. And they've got Matner up the ground, so they don't want to put Matner back there. So that's a luxury that Alistair Clarkson's got, just the different options up on the forward line. And not the best result there for Sydney, because once again, the closing speed of Osborne, very good. If Hawthorne get over the line here, it'll do wonders for their mindset. 
Sydney have had their number the last six occasions. We talked about uh, crunching the numbers, Danny, that average disposals for Hawthorne in their last six encounters has been 262. At the moment, they're 264, which is 100 down on their season average. So it's a great effort by them, even though Sydney has shut them down disposal-wise. They've got the buffer on the scoreboard. Look, they have. They've had 53 inside 50s. That's been the important part. And unfortunately, they've kicked 12 goals six. So they really haven't hurt Sydney on the scoreboard. They're going to go in again here. Or will they? Saul's going to go back first to Ellis. He's wrapped up, but he has support. Sam Mitchell into the hole. Danger. Jack coming out. Ladson. Williams there as well. Sliding in was Roughhead, but Bevan beat him to it. Kirk. Look away handball. It ends up with Moore. He goes to ground. So too goods. He slipped. There's yep. that slippery surface. Hawthorne's still Numbers going. Numbers three deep it's by service. Oh, it's a goal, surely. Mitchell got it to Roughhead. Bingo! Three to Roughhead. Great goal, but we talked about the conditions before the game, Lynchy. We were down at ground level. You just see the look-away handball. Moore goes to change direction. The handball goes down to Goods. He tries to change direction. And Hawthorne get a goal. I wonder what Paul Roos asked the boys after the game. They got the long stops on in the midfield. If you didn't, you'd put them on quickly. <laughs> but yeah, very slippery conditions and parts of the ground. Hawthorne kicked 13. They've got 10 from Williams, Franklin and Ruffhead. And Paul Roos now, I think, resigned to a loss. It's 27 points now. Not only has been a, a rout for the last six games, um, Hawthorne have been defeated by the Sydney Swans, but before last week, the Sydney Swans were in white-hot form, won yep. six games on the trot in the, uh, this home-and-away season, and looked like the powerhouse who were going to really challenge Geelong. Mitchell stepping up here, win a free kick, he was held on to. So Sam Mitchell will eventually find himself to the top of the disposal ladder. Up to 20 now with Lance Franklin. Yeah, Franklin just wants it one-on-one -on -one at the top of the goal square. Williams wants it earlier, so he got out of his way. She rough it, almost got it. He's did Leo Barry. Whoops. No communication. Rioli the pickpocket. Yeah, yeah. the goal kicker. Hawthorne will win this one. Great goal from Sue Rioli. What Sue Rioli does, he tests your foot skills. They need to be first class coming out of the back half because if they're not, he will swoop on any loose ball and make you pay in the highest po possible way. We just see an errant handball again from Bolton. Rioli swoops on it and puts it straight over the goal umpire's hat. That's deflating. One goal, two for Surreal this afternoon. There's just under 50,000 here at the MCG, and they're now watching Hawthorne power away. Sydney challenged the Hawthorne outfit, equal to the task. And can they move it on? Here's Goods. Guerra cutting in front with courage, takes a good mark. And he's cramping up a bit. Yeah, and so he should be. He's uh, spent a lot of the game on Rhino Keith. It covers an enormous amount of territory, and that's a lot of courage to go back in front of the leading forward. Always a chance to get hit, but uh, he's cramped up. He's gone. Well, actually, Alistair Clarkson's got with his team at the moment. You need to go, Lynchy, because there's pressure yeah. on for spots. Lewis is out with an injury at the moment. See, the Hawks have huddled up in the centre circle of the ground, and they're broken into some space and here they go that beautifully Saul Franklin Go got position got it now come on Lance let's have a set shot goal well it was a beautifully weighted kick that put Craig Bolton in a position there he's never going to mark the ball Lance Franklin was able to duck back into some space and just held Bolton under the ball took a very good mark looks like where is coming off off the ground severe cramp now the crowd will enjoy this have been willing him to get one through. Was it shot 13? Shot 14. 14. There it is. Yes.
to keep adding shots. Eventually, they're going to go through the middle. Sewell's had a great comeback. Shoulder surgery six or seven weeks ago. You call it ulcer. The kick to grass there was goal side. Bolton probably did the right thing playing in front, but there wasn't a lot of pressure on the kicker. It just gives Sewell enough opportunity to have a look and see where Bolton was and kick it to Lance Franklin's advantage. And he'd be wrapped that he's kicked one from a set shot. The big fella. The Hawks are kicking away here, and there's four minutes remaining, and the, the margin's going to be a blowout. Could have been a bigger blowout. That man, 21 disposals, most of them have been in the forward 54 goal, seven. Uh -huh. But uh, forwards and defenders, you like to protect the space, and on that occasion, Lance Franklin did, and he was honoured by a very smart oh. kick. Nice give on the up from Kirk to Bird. O'Keefe has worn Guerra into the ground. He's gone off. O'Loughlin. I would think it'd be just outside his range, Mickey O'Loughlin. Yeah. That's kicked from about 53, 54 metres. Giving it a ride. It's going to be It's going to be through. Alistair, that little rest gave him enough to bang it through. Very good kick from just outside 50. I didn't think he had it. He had the extra metre or two, and that was a nice lead. But uh, the game's well and truly over here. It's been a very good contest for uh, most part. Two teams that are up in that top four of the AFL and will be serious contenders come September. And Mickey O'Loughlin is such an important player, and he's, he's shown some good signs today. I mean, big mark shows that uh, a man who's pushing towards the end of his career, he might have a bit to go yet. O'Loughlin, goal number two, goal number 497 in his stellar career. Could have had three, but had to go off and gave one to Buchanan. From the centre again, tuck. High, very high. <laughs> Roughhead just pushed his opponent away, then gets a horrible bounce. Ablett's worked hard, in close. He's holding the ball. Well, it's dropping the ball. He Took the Hawthorne runners on. Yeah, he got around the first tackler and was uh, held up in the second. Messy handball from Ladson. Puts Hodge under pressure. How's, How's, that, kick? For, how's that for a kickoff balance? That was unbelievable. He had a look inside. There was no one on. And then he waited till Ablett got near him. He saw Roughhead leading and then just put it on his boot with an enormous amount of pressure. What will Roughhead do? He's gone. Well, he's kicked it inside out, screw punt to no one in particular. Yours. Spoil lands with Moore. Play fair a long way from centre half forward. Got it there, Krantz. Thanks, mate. He's not sure what to do. Move it on, stay up, Michael. Yeah, he's going to switch. Thank you. Now, Roberts Thompson's just come off the bench, so he should Yours. get it next. Nick Smith could have been the next man in the in the chain, but not sure where to go. But, so Roberts Thompson heads in the O'Keefe direction. He went very early. Brown and Bolton, and we've got a boundary throw in two minutes remaining. Hawks will continue their wonderful season. The scoreboard is where it should be now, though. Early on, when you have a look at the inside 50s, 58 to 42, wow. that normally equates to a six to seven goal victory. Yours. Kirk. It's one extra for Sydney. Two on one here for Hawthorne. It's out. With those players out of the side for the Hawks, geez, they look good in the in the lead up to September. They can have a little luck with injuries over the next month or so. There's now a huge break, isn't there? Top three. A huge break on, on Sydney and Collingwood are pressing. But the great thing is we've got the, the top three playing each other over the next couple of weeks. Geelong playing the Bulldogs and Hawthorne. The Western Bulldogs, uh, Geelong next week is going to be a massive, great game. Here's McVeigh. From just inside 50, we're right behind him and it's bending and it hits the post. We've had a few posters today. So McVeigh's day, 18 disposals, one goal, one. And Hawthorne really taking their time now. They know they've got it one. And they'll just play out a bit of time here. 
as Ellis gets on the end of the kick. Just a hole in the zone there for the Swans. There's no one deep on this flank. Big leap over the top and spoil came from Ablett. Unkind bounce from McVeigh. Out of bounds. We might head down to Lee Colbert. Ty Canelli, is he done for the day, Colby? Yes, mate, he's cooked. Uh, he's done. He's done his job. He's poor bugger. He's had shoulders popped out all day. <laughs> and uh, Shane Crawford, he's gone as well. So both the old uh, old timers put the cue in the rack. <laughs> Ground comments over <laughs> Lee Colbert. <laughs> Just showing a little bit of his Bendigo wares there. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Hodge. Good give to Ellis. And that, he's trying to keep that in, but it's blowing away for him and it's out of bounds. Like on this one, Colby. The future yep, West Coast race. Eagles assistant coach. <laughs> there there he is. is just in the background. Yeah, it Move it on. Play on. So Smith, well, he's not sure where to go. Right, run himself into trouble. He got away from Osborne. Bird. Playfair with Murphy. Playfair did well to get it to Matner. Sydney get one more before the end of the game. Chain of handballs. Ends up with Jared Moore. And well, he missed one early in the game and he hasn't straightened up. 31 points is the margin. Zeke Williams, he was camped out at full forward for the most part of this last term. Been a very uh, dangerous forward, just compliments the other key forwards in the game for Hawthorne. Somehow it ends up back with Kirk. Out to O'Loughlin, Siren beats him, it would have been a goal, but it would have been purely academic because Hawthorne have broken their hoodoo against Sydney, their first win against the Swans since round 19, 2003. And that year they won twice, but it's been a big victory for them, and they are solid inside the top three. This has been a Fox Sports presentation. Wednesday on Fox Sports 1, catch the golf show with resident pro Brett Ogle. Later, Tri-Nations Rugby when the All Blacks host the Springboks. And at 8.30, the baseball season gets underway with the Major League All-Star Game. Flick it to Fox Sports for AFL this weekend and catch every moment live. Why not? Everybody else is. One